in this uh, video we're going to look at the spreadsheet that I'm going to use to uh, create and effect the mail merge. So each one of these rows in my spreadsheet will be a different slideshow when I come to do my mail merge and you can see that I've done three rows with just some made up copy, city copy in it but as I've gone on I've decided to make it a little bit more uh, complicated and add some more bits and pieces so let's see what you can do in Google's um, slides. So first of all, if you have all your text, remember it's going to go into a um, slideshow, so you don't want to have it all bunched up. And by default, um, Google Slides will, um, uh, sorry, Google Sheets will just have everything in one line, in one paragraph, in effect, in the um, uh, spreadsheet. But what we want to do is we want to make it slightly more um, reasonable in terms of presentation. So here you can see I've added in some blank rows and I've added in some bullet points here. And I've started to do that on this one. Let's double click to enter this one. And I've got a bullet point here in my clipboard. So I just go highlight it on the Mac, go Apple C on the PC, go Control C, and then Apple V, Control V on the PC, just to add those bullet points. But where did I get the bullet points from? Well, I went to, I just searched for um, bullet point character and I got this website up here fsymbols.com and then you just select on one copy it and it adds it to your clipboard and then you can paste it into um, your uh, your application but I just searched on bullet character to get that website which is quick and easy so I've got that so how do I if it's just copy and paste this into another cell here so which pencil does what All right. I want to add another line so I hold down the alt key and then I press enter twice and then paste it in so that gives me new lines that's going to display a bit better on my um, on my slideshow now the actual width of these columns doesn't matter because it's going to flow into the template um, but this is just for my convenience what I've done here as well is I've set the um, numbers to be center aligned and center aligned on there and then I've set all of these um, rows all of these text ones over here to um, return so they've got text wrapping rather than it stretching out or being truncated by the next square just to make it easier for me to read it doesn't make any difference um, uh, when you're actually pushing it through into the Google Sheets um, sorry into the Google Slides into the presentation format because that will be constrained by the dimensions of the template box so if we're looking at objectives here all the text for objectives will flow into this box and if the box is big enough it will support it or it might flow out the bottom if you have too much so that is the constraining aspect not what you've got in here in terms of width or anything like that that makes no difference that makes no difference the actual formatting that you put in like a new row or something will make a difference one last thing to remember under tools we've got spelling spell check so it's always worth running that through um, and so we've got looser here and I could change that to more loose maybe change that um, and then everything else is okay because I spell checked it earlier but um, you might want to think about that on here I've got um, a URL to a picture of a drawing by Van Gogh which I copied and pasted out and I've put inverted commas around it so that that drawing works um, but that's pretty much all you need to know about the spreadsheet except that you need to have headings and these are the headings that you will use to do the mail merge I've formatted mine as reverse colors to make it easy for me and I could go view freeze one row so that's always in, on top and when I add more and more rows in that would be useful for me to see because they will scroll but that will stay constant at the top but that's pretty much it in the next movie we'll look at to see how you do the mail merge